Earlier today, Seton Hall head coach Kevin Willard said his team kind of went back to practice plans from February when they took on Creighton, running a lot of transition defensive drills to help them prepare for Arkansas's high-octane offense. Now, while the Razorbacks can go 10, 11 men deep, Seton Hall, who likes to run a lot of half-court offense, goes 7, maybe 8. And Willard even said it's going to be a shocker in the first few minutes of their game on Friday, seeing as they've played slower-paced teams such as Villanova and DePaul. So if you're the Razorbacks, you got to push it and try to tire the Pirates out. I just get it tomorrow, just get a run them, run them. They play seven guys, eight guys. We get a run them. Um, and hopefully before the, the uh, 30 minutes mark, they're going to be tired. I think just putting ball pressure on them, honestly, making them uncomfortable, making them speed up the game, really, because we like to play fast. And once we play fast, we make people make decisions. So I think if we speed them up, and just rough them up a little, we'll be all right. Now we know about Angel Delgado and his eye-popping stats. 13 boards per game that leads the nation. But overall, Seton Hall has the best rebounding numbers in the Big East, racking in just under 40 per game. And it's not just thanks to Delgado. The Pirates guards also rebound extremely well. Mike Anderson and the Razorbacks say they have to control the boards and limit offensive rebounds. Rodriguez, I mean, he's a tremendous rebounder. I mean, all those guys rebound. Carrington, the guards, I mean, they... Uh, they're one of those teams, they shoot it and go get it. And because they shoot it and they know where it's going. And that means we've got to do a, uh, an outstanding job of keeping them off the boards. The offensive rebounder is unbelievable. So that tells you they've got a knack for that and we've got to, we got to limit them to getting that. Their guards rebound up uh, pretty well. Like, this, like I said, they're one of the top rebounding schools in the, in the country. And uh, so we've just been preaching this, blocking out, uh, make sure we all put a body on somebody in there. Uh, in, in the paint, so uh, we just got to have five guys in there and then come home with them around and push it. Now, obviously, this will be the first time many Razorbacks will go dancing, but to many who have been in this position before, such as Manny Watkins, they say it's nice to be here, but we want to keep dancing. Reporting here in Greenville, South Carolina, Ben Graydon, Fox 16 Sports.